Congratulations. Why? Because you have chosen the Immune Power Diet. It's the first truly scientific nutritional plan designed to strengthen and revitalize your body's immune system. With the most rigorous science, the Immune Power Diet synthesizes what we know about the interaction of food and immune cell function. As a physician, I challenge anyone to find any aspect of this plan inconsistent with our understanding of immune health. You've just heard from Stuart Berger, MD, author of the best-selling Dr. Berger's Immune Power Diet and a leading medical authority. Dr. Berger has developed a fascinating and revolutionary program to help build your body's natural complex defense system. You'll be able to lose weight safely and with permanent results. Welcome to this program, part of an exciting new series designed to help you become more confident, more effective and successful in all that you do. Dr. Stuart Berger received his medical degree from Tufts University and studied the effects of nutrition and psychology on weight control at the Harvard University School of Public Health. He is in private practice in New York City, where his patients include famous singers, actors, movie stars, and business leaders. He's also the author of the best-selling Southampton Diet. In the next 40 minutes, you'll be introduced to the major features of Dr. Berger's unique and popular immune power diet. Our goal is to provide you with essential information about how the diet works and to help get you started on the road to immune power and weight loss. According to Dr. Berger, the worse your immune tune, the easier it is to get fat and stay that way. Each extra pound you carry actually makes it harder to lose weight and easier to gain it. As you can imagine, this creates a terrible self-perpetuating cycle, the immune fat cycle, in which poor health and excess weight contribute to each other. The result is eating disorders, medical problems, low energy and stamina, mood swings, frequent illness, and faster aging. By power tuning your immune or natural defense system, you can reverse the self-defeating immune fat cycle. The best-selling Immune Power Diet Plan is based on the latest research findings on the connection between your weight and your immune health. We'll present basic facts about your body's built-in system of defense against disease and illness, and we'll explain how this system works. We'll show you how to beat the immune fat cycle, and we'll discuss the importance of fiber and complex carbohydrates to your immune health. With the aid of vitamins, minerals, and the newly discovered wonder of amino acids, we'll also explain Dr. Berger's revolutionary immune power plan to help you identify and eliminate those damaging foods you are innocently introducing into your immune system. We'll even give you a sample four-day plan from the immune power diet so that you can get started right away. The immune power diet is based on cooperation, not competition with your body's own extraordinary powers. It has been the prescription for health, weight loss, and super energy for over 3,000 of Dr. Berger's patients. In recent years, Dr. Berger has used the immune power diet to help his patients lose a total of more than 74,000 pounds of extra weight. That's 37 tons of fat. Your immune system is the key to better health to more energy and enjoyment, and to safe, permanent weight control. Let's begin at the beginning. What exactly is your immune system? How does it affect your weight? The immune system is the body's defender. It identifies, tracks down, and destroys biological troublemakers before they can damage the body. These invaders try to take over our tissues and feed off our body's nutrients. If they succeed, we become sick, or sometimes even die. It's your immune system's job to destroy these invaders before they destroy you. The immune system is tremendously complex, but there are really only four key parts that will help you understand how the immune power diet program works. They are the lymphocytes, the thymus, the antibodies, and the macrophages. The lymphocytes, a special kind of white blood cell, are the crucial foot soldiers in the immune battle that keeps you alive. These lymphocytes pass through a small walnut-sized organ at the base of your neck called the thymus. Here, special hormones turn lymphocytes into aggressive fighting cells called T-cells. 
Let's say you picked up a flu virus last week. As it multiplies in your bloodstream, it is met by the lymphocytes. These immune cells have one terrific talent. They can distinguish friend from foe. That is, what should be in our bodies from what shouldn't. They do not affect the body's healthy cells, yet they attack everything that is foreign to our bodies, such as germs, transplants, and grafts. Even our own cells which have turned malignant. With the invasion of a virus, the thymus turns lymphocytes into T cells, which reproduce in order to outnumber the virus. Each new T cell is programmed to fight this exact enemy. They release deadly chemicals that make the cells burst. Meanwhile, thousands of antibodies have been pouring into the bloodstream every second. Antibodies are protein molecules tuned like guided missiles to zero in on invaders. Like T cells, antibodies surround the invader and signal to the macrophages that a foreign substance is present in the bloodstream. When the macrophages encounter an invader, they proceed to eliminate it from the system. They eat the invader. With so many defenders at work, the virus doesn't have a chance. And with all of this activity going on in your bloodstream, no wonder you're tired when you get the flu. The immune battles rage every second of every day nonstop. Because our bodies contain many trillions of microorganisms, our immune system is engaged in constant battle for as long as we live. Sometimes the threat isn't from outside invaders. If the immune system is impaired, our own cells can turn precancerous. When your immune balance is upset, you open yourself to a whole range of illness, both acute and chronic. Dr. Berger says the most frequent problems are caused by an immune hypersensitivity response to many of the foods we eat. What you eat can damage your immune cells, creating or contributing to problems such as asthma, nausea, hives, anxiety, headaches, and insomnia. A new science has been born. It's been termed preventive immunology, nutritional immunology, or immunomodulation therapy. This new science is proving, with discoveries reported at a breathtaking pace, that you can affect your immune system by what you do or don't eat. As you improve your health, you will automatically start losing weight. That's what the immune power diet is all about. <laughs> Before you can begin to rebuild your immune system, it is important for you to understand the immune fat connection. Growing evidence indicates that your weight, as well as your overall health, is influenced by the state of your immune system. The immune fat connection is not so surprising, because we have long known that excess fat has damaging and even deadly effects throughout the body. It taxes the heart and lungs blocks arteries, paving the way for a stroke or heart attack, weakens the liver, kidneys, and hormonal system, and may even promote disease such as diabetes and cancer. The immune system affects our weight in several ways. It regulates the manner in which we absorb, digest, and store food, and how efficiently we can convert nutrients into energy. Fat is the body's natural energy reserve. The status of our immune system determines how much fat we burn for energy or carry around in the form of excess weight. Excess pounds all too often carry a tremendous load of excess psychological baggage too. Feelings of shame at being out of control of your body, resentment and loneliness, and real or imagined sexual inadequacy. The evidence that excess fat directly and severely weakens your immune system is alarming and overwhelming. It means that fat people get sick more. It means that fat people age faster and are more vulnerable to chronic debilitating diseases like diabetes, cancer, and heart disease. And it means that fat people have less energy, stamina, and resilience. In short, fat people become less healthy and stay less healthy because their immune system is less healthy. Should you then go to any extreme to rid yourself of excess weight as quickly as possible? Hardly. That's the rationale behind many of the wild fad diets which have become popular over the years. The fat crisis diets have one thing in common. They disrupt the body's metabolic cycle. They are designed to throw the body into a sudden state of shock in order to achieve weight loss. 
You didn't gain the extra inches overnight, and they won't disappear that way either. Everyone has a distinct set of immune reactions to various foods. Some food that we eat often, in fact that we may crave, can do substantial damage to our immune cells. Food sensitivities can be as varied as the range of foods we eat, and there are different degrees of sensitivities. Some foods can cause only slight damage to a few white blood cells, while others cause massive destruction, killing hundreds of thousands of these cells. Dr. Berger has tested over a thousand of his patients for more than 150 hypersensitivities and rarely discovered a patient without some form of significant immune damage created by foods eaten regularly. It is virtually certain that without being aware of it, you are eating some foods that are damaging your immune system. Foods such as coffee, cocoa, and chocolate, which all contain caffeine, often cause headaches. Foods such as tomatoes, white onions, potatoes, paprika, and squash seem tied to a variety of arthritic and joint symptoms. Dairy foods such as milk, cream, butter, yogurt, and cheese cause particularly troublesome responses in the form of asthma, as well as a number of gastrointestinal symptoms including cramps, gas, bloating, diarrhea, and constipation. Common citrus fruits, oranges, lemons, grapefruits, tangerines, and limes are linked to a wide range of traditional allergic symptoms, including hives, wheezing, and headaches. While food sensitivities are not commonly considered immune reactions, Dr. Berger's research is based on extensive clinical observation and testing of its patients. The Immune Power Diet Program removes seven sinister food groups from your diet, as well as a whole range of additives, preservatives, and chemicals often found in foods. Among them, MSG, BHT, polysorbate, disodium inosinate, and sodium benzoate. Not only do many of these chemicals have their own toxic effects on immune health, but they magnify toxic responses caused by other foods. How do food sensitivities affect your health? The food you ate at lunch today, for example, may have damaged or killed tens or even hundreds of immune cells by mid-afternoon, resulting in less vigilant immune surveillance, a slower immune response, and a less aggressive immune attack. Fortunately, your immune defenses keep an ample reserve. No single meal can do so much damage that you would suddenly be left vulnerable to a disease. Often, the effects of hidden food sensitivities are not immediately obvious, but they do take an insidious toll. They do their damage subtly, sapping your strength and vitality. The immune-weakened person grows slowly more sluggish, begins to lose vitality, energy, and sexual drive. In addition, the aging process is accelerated, resulting in premature wrinkles and skin problems. Hidden food sensitivities are also associated with a tremendous range of physical symptoms. Dr. Berger has treated patients suffering from chronic arthritis, fatigue, ulcers, and skin and nerve problems. Heart palpitations, nausea, vomiting, and asthma can also result from food sensitivities. Because the immune system is so far-reaching, Every organ system is touched by the immune imbalances that food sensitivities cause. Take the head and upper respiratory tract, for example. Such symptoms as headaches, dizziness, feeling faint, and blocked nasal passages can mean that a food or foods you've been eating are incompatible with your immune constitution. Allergic reactions are extremely damaging if they affect the brain. These are the cerebral allergies, which can produce devastating emotional results. Severe sensitivities can precipitate crying episodes, raging aggressive behavior, slurred speech, or irritability. Dr. Berger has observed that many thousands of people find themselves labeled neurotics and psychotics simply because their doctors don't know how to diagnose the subtle food sensitivities that are causing emotional turbulence. Dr. Berger maintains that the most effective and accurate means of identifying allergies is based on the principle of remove and reintroduce. The immune power diet consists of three steps to help you achieve superb immune fitness and glowing health. Research has repeatedly revealed that a select group of seven major food culprits create the overwhelming majority of food sensitivities.
Dr. Berger refers to these foods as the sinister seven target foods. The seven foods are those which, in Dr. Berger's clinical experience, create immune damage in the overwhelming majority of his patients. More importantly, the sinister seven are those foods closely linked to food binging and excess weight. In order of frequency, they are cow's milk products, wheat, brewer's yeast and baker's yeast, eggs, corn, soy products, and cane sugar. Although these foods are the worst offenders, they are by no means the only problem foods. Any food can cause a negative reaction, depending on the individual biochemical makeup of the person affected. Your goal in the first step, or elimination phase, is to quiet the turbulence of overlapping allergic reactions by removing danger foods from your diet. Dr. Berger's experience has been that 21 days is enough time to clear food toxins effectively from the body and produce a strong immune foundation. The elimination phase of the immune power diet is carefully designed to be quite safe and healthy over a long period of time. However, there is one rule. You must complete the four-day cycle of any rotation you start. This is extremely important. Do not stop halfway through a four-day cycle because that can upset the nutrient balance that makes this diet so effective. On side two of this program, we'll actually give you menus for the elimination phase of the immune power diet. Once you've eliminated toxins from your system for 21 days, your next goal is to reintroduce these seven foods back into your diet to discover which, if any, cause allergic reactions. In the third and final phase of the immune power diet plan, Dr. Berger prescribes a maintenance plan and dietary supplements to help you rebuild your immune system. Just how do you beat the immune fat cycle? To begin, you must understand how this catastrophic pattern gets started. Recent studies sponsored by the National Science Foundation show that calories simply are not the key to weight loss that we once believed. The common pattern is well known to everyone who has ever tried to lose weight. An impressive initial weight loss followed by a long plateau of little or no loss. The reason is clear. Without proper understanding of the key immune role in weight loss, you can't hope to break the insidious cycle that keeps you overweight. The whole point of the immune powered diet plan is that it uses a balanced program to help you lose weight safely and sanely. In addition to testing for and eliminating certain foods from your diet, Dr. Berger prescribes a regimen that consists of high fiber and complex carbohydrates, the two most important nutritional keys to help you get thin now. Fiber helps you lose weight in two main ways. First, it simply fills you up. Physiologically, bulky food makes you feel less hungry and you will eat less of the high calorie, high sugar, and fatty foods that put on pounds and damage your immune system. Moreover, a high fiber diet helps smooth out the peaks and valleys of protein and sugar digestion. That means less erratic eating patterns, more constant high energy, and a more stable, positive mood. High fiber also helps you to avoid wild binges and high sugar foods. And by preventing these destructive food binges, you can break another link in the subtle immune fat cycle. The complex carbohydrate foods such as pasta, potatoes, and whole grains are also a key part of this diet. Like sugars, these foods are high in energy. But unlike sugar, they break down slowly in our bodies. Not long ago, foods like potatoes, rice, and pasta were definitely forbidden in any weight loss program. Times have changed. Today we appreciate the role complex carbohydrates play in weight loss, fitness, and a healthy immune system. Like fiber, complex carbohydrates keep your energy and emotional levels high, eliminating the energy peaks and valleys that set off the destructive binge eating cycle while satisfying the biological cravings that drive us to eat those foods. Foods like pasta and whole grains also help you lose weight by replacing a large amount of fat in your diet. By cutting fat and increasing fiber and complex carbohydrates, you're making nutritional sense. The energy that we derive from complex carbohydrates is produced in a time-release form. 
that is, these nutrients are burned slowly by the body and are safely and gradually transformed into energy. Finally, complex carbohydrates are full of the essential vitamins and minerals you need to keep your immune system healthy. They offer vitamins A, B, C, D, and E, and a whole complement of vital minerals, and many of the amino acids your body needs. In many ways, they are a one-stop shop for many of the crucial nutrients important for rebuilding your immune system. Now you know all about one of modern medicine's best-kept secrets, your immune system. The body's built-in power factory is your key to healthy weight control. You're now ready to put this new knowledge to work with the Immune Power Diet. On side two of this program, we'll give you Dr. Berger's prescription for shedding those extra pounds and rebuilding your immune system. We'll give you four complete menus from the 21-day elimination plan, plus a few pointers on how to follow the maintenance plan. And there are also a few facts you should know about how vitamins, minerals, and amino acids complement the immune power diet plan. Please turn the cassette over. We continue on the other side. Now the time has come to take a hard look at a tender subject, your waistline. And for that matter, your thighs, hips, tummy, arms, ankles. Any place your body keeps its unsightly and unhealthy fat bank accounts. Fat storage depends on many factors, including your sex. Men and women store fat differently. You can get a rough and ready measure of your immune tune by taking the pinch test. Using your thumb and forefinger, take a pinch of your waistline. If you feel more than one half inch of extra fat, you know your body's weight control system has banked too much energy in fat reserves. The fat you pinch is just the tip of the iceberg. Within your body, fat cells unleash a destructive tug of war between you and your immune system. In the following five minutes, We'll give you instructions and menus for the first four days of the elimination phase of Dr. Berger's Immune Power Diet Plan. We suggest that you listen to the entire menu and instructions, as well as to the information about vitamins, minerals, and amino acids that follows at least once before attempting to take notes. Week one, day one. For breakfast, you might have one nectarine, two apricots, or one tangelo. When selecting fruit for the diet menus, select average size fruit which means small to medium size, depending on season and availability. Each morning for breakfast, you can have a coffee substitute or herbal tea. Breakfast should also include boiled pearl barley. Boiled pearl barley is high in protein, phosphorus, potassium, calcium, and magnesium. Put one third cup of raw pearl barley and one and one quarter cups of water in a small saucepan and bring to a boil. Reduce heat to simmer and cook for two to three minutes stir occasionally to prevent sticking. Dr. Berger also suggests a one cup portion of cranberry juice. For lunch on day one of the first week, Dr. Berger suggests two cups of beef barley soup. Mineral water or seltzer are beverages for each lunchtime meal. For dinner, you might treat yourself to four ounces of broiled red snapper or bass and an unlimited portion of romaine lettuce salad with a fourth cup of diced cucumber and one half cup of diced tomato. You can top that off with an unlimited serving of tomato juice salad dressing, one nectarine, or three apricots. For dinner beverages, you have a choice of coffee substitute, herbal tea, mineral water, or seltzer. At any point after dinner, Dr. Berger suggests a snack that consists of a one-ounce serving of fresh goat cheese. Start day two with a half-cup serving of fresh strawberries. Breakfast also includes a one-half-cup serving of oatmeal, and a one cup serving of fresh, unsweetened orange juice. Remember, herbal tea or coffee substitute if you like. Lunch today begins with tuna, either a three and a half ounce can of water packed tuna or four ounces of fresh broiled tuna. Lunch should also include one cup of steamed green beans, one cup of steamed potatoes, one kiwi, and mineral water or seltzer. Dinner on day two should consist of four ounces of broiled chicken, one ounce of sautéed okra or steamed green beans, an unlimited portion of Swiss chard or endive salad, as well as an unlimited portion of citrus salad dressing, 
one half cup of strawberries and herbal tea, mineral water, seltzer, or a coffee substitute. Although similar to plain vinegar, citrus salad dressing is an infinitely more appealing and tasty way to perk up a salad. To prepare it, mix one half tablespoon of fresh lemon, lime, or grapefruit juice with three and one half to four teaspoons of water. Add one slice of fresh garlic up to one tablespoon of any or all of the following. Fresh basil, chives, coriander leaves, marjoram, mint, oregano, parsley, or thyme. And you can add ground cumin to taste. Today you can snack on one orange or one kiwi. On day three, your breakfast menu will include one half of a banana and a half cup of puffed rice cereal. You can also have half a cup of unsweetened apple juice and a hot beverage. For lunch on day three, have a fruit plate of one sliced apple, one half of a banana, and three quarters cup of watermelon or Persian melon cubes. Dinner on day three should be four ounces of broiled lamb chop and a one and one eighths cup portion of stir fried snow peas with water chestnuts. These two vegetables make an outstanding accompaniment to fish and chicken and are excellent with roast beef or steak. To make two servings, take two cups snow peas, one and one half teaspoons of oil, one quarter cup thinly sliced water chestnuts, fresh or canned, and freshly ground white pepper for seasoning. Rinse and trim the snow peas. Heat a non-stick pan or wok until hot and then add the oil. Add the snow peas and stir fry for 20 seconds. Add the water chestnuts and stir fry for 30 seconds or until both vegetables are barely tender while retaining a little crispness. Add the white pepper to season. Dinner should also include a one half cup serving of pureed steamed rutabaga or white turnip and a one half cup serving of long grain rice. More nutritious than white rice, brown rice is high in protein, phosphorus, potassium, calcium, magnesium, selenium, and amino acids. Prepare a one cup serving by putting one third cup of raw long grain brown rice into one and one quarter cups water in a small saucepan. Bring the water to a boil. Reduce to a simmer and cook for two to three minutes. Cover and continue to simmer for 25 to 30 minutes or until the rice is tender. Top off your dinner meal with one baked apple and a beverage of coffee substitute, herbal tea, mineral water, or seltzer. To prepare two servings of baked apple, take two apples and remove the stem and the top two thirds of the core. Fill the apple with one tablespoon of pure maple syrup or date sugar and ground cinnamon, cloves, and nutmeg if desired. After preheating the oven at 375 degrees, place the apples flat on a pie plate lined with aluminum foil. Reduce the heat to 350 degrees and bake for 15 to 20 minutes, or until just tender when pierced with the sharp point of a knife. Serve while warm or at room temperature. Your snack for the day is four rice crackers. Start day four of your elimination diet with a half a cup of blueberries for breakfast. Add to that a one cup serving of puffed millet cereal topped with one tablespoon of maple syrup if you like. You should finish with one cup of fresh unsweetened grapefruit juice and herbal tea or a coffee substitute. Lunch on day four starts with a one half cup serving of black eyed peas or pinto beans with thyme. You will want to complement this with a steamed vegetable plate. Your vegetable plate should combine a one cup serving of carrots, a one cup serving of cauliflower and a two cup serving of either escarole or chicory. Top off lunch with one tangerine or peach and with mineral water or seltzer. Dinner on day four starts with four ounces of broiled halibut or swordfish. A one cup serving of steamed asparagus with tarragon should also be part of your dinner menu for the day. Round out your meal with a half cup serving of steamed cauliflower, unlimited servings of chicory or escarole salad, and a citrus salad dressing. For dessert, try a half cup serving of blueberries. How do you prepare steamed asparagus with tarragon? To make two servings, you'll need to wash and trim eight ounces, that's 10 thick or 16 thin spears of fresh asparagus. You'll also need four teaspoons of fresh tarragon. Add a dash of freshly ground pepper for flavoring. Steam the asparagus until barely tender, about four to six minutes for thin stalks, eight to 10 minutes for thick, and serve by sprinkling the tarragon over the steamed asparagus. Your snack for the day should be one cup of carrot juice or one tangerine or one peach. If you decide to continue with the elimination diet plan, some of the breakfast foods you might want to substitute are mango or papaya, 
100% yeast-free rye bread, apricot nectar, plums, raspberries, honeydew or cantaloupe. Some lunch foods you might want to consider including are sliced roast turkey, steamed green broccoli or squash, salmon, radish sprout, alfalfa sprout, or endive salad. At dinner, substitute steamed flounder, fluke or sole, chicken and broiled scrod or haddock. Dinner may also consist of such foods as steamed cauliflower, lima beans, or a half cup serving of sauteed zucchini or yellow squash in one tablespoon of dairy-free low-fat margarine. Any day you can snack on a plum or a celery stick with one cup of tomato juice and a lime wedge or a half cup of Bing cherries or grapes. Remember that you're eliminating the seven sinister foods from your diet during this period. Once you've eliminated the toxic food, the next step in Dr. Berger's immune power plan is to systematically reintroduce specific foods into your diet to learn if any of these foods cause reactions. You'll have to become vastly more sensitive to the signals your body is sending you, and it is crucial in this phase to listen acutely to those signals. Try this exercise. Take a moment to feel what your body is telling you right now. Whether you're on the F train at rush hour, washing the dinner dishes, or sitting up in a comfortable armchair in your home, ask yourself these questions. Is your neck reasonably relaxed or unusually tense? Is it possible that you feel a dull headache coming on as you rethink the day's pressures and demands? You must be a careful observer of the signals your body sends as you challenge it by reintroducing one at a time the sinister seven foods, cow's milk products, wheat, brewer's yeast and baker's yeast, eggs, corn, soy products, and cane sugar. These challenge symptoms can take the same variety of forms as the food allergy symptoms we mentioned earlier. You must assume that anything wrong you feel during this period is due to the danger foods you have eaten. For this phase of the diet, you'll want to establish your personal 14-day reintroduction timetable and log. In the left column of a standard 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper, number the page from 1 to 14 in a column along the margin. Next to the number, which represents each day in the 14-day phase, make a column headed Sinister 7 Food. On the right side of the paper, make a column headed Symptoms. Each day, introduce a target food into your diet and note it in the Sinister 7 Food column. Eat this food three times. This will be a sufficient amount to elicit any response you might have. Challenge your body for one day, observe for one day then change to another target food. Continue this way, introducing a new food every 48 hours and observing your reactions until you have reintroduced all of the Sinister 7 foods back into your diet. At the end of that two-week period, you will be able to pinpoint the foods you are specifically sensitive to. You will have a list of those foods which cause severe reactions, those which cause weak reactions, and foods which are harmless. Once you've isolated which of the Sinister 7 foods cause negative reactions for you, and once your body has adjusted to its new pitch of immune health, you are ready for the third step in Dr. Berger's Immune Power Plan. You're ready to rebuild your immune system. Dr. Berger suggests that you complement your new Immune Power Health Plan by developing a carefully balanced supplementation plan with the vitamins, minerals, and amino acids necessary to rebuild and strengthen your immune system. What happens when you have a vitamin deficiency? Some of the symptoms are frequent colds and flu, infections, low energy, digestive problems, nervousness, insomnia, irritability, anxiety, and weight problems. Or you may just feel slightly below par, not quite as energetic, as healthy, or as razor sharp as usual. Amino acids, proteins, minerals, and vitamins play a key role at every stage of the immune battle. In addition to building and strengthening the body's cells, vitamins work with enzymes to speed up chemical reactions in the body. This means that proper levels of vitamins work to give us a faster, more aggressive immune defense. Although all vitamins are important, four are especially critical for strong immune health. Vitamin C, E, a and B complex. Vitamin C, ascorbic acid, has the strongest positive effects on our immune system. Recent studies indicate that the more vitamin C in your diet, 
the greater the weight of vital immune tissues like the thymus and lymph nodes, and the more efficiently the thymus works preparing T cells to fight germs. Vitamin E has been called the youth vitamin, responsible for helping to keep your skin smooth and supple. Vitamin A shares some of these properties, as well as its ability to promote clear vision. The most recent research shows that a lack of vitamin A lowers the number of T cells, which means fewer immune soldiers to mount an attack. Without enough of the B vitamins, particularly B6 and B12, your cells can't make crucial germ-fighting antibodies, and that means one less arm of defense. Vitamin C has also been shown in many studies to be crucial to macrophage activity, because without it, these crucial cell eaters can't do a good job. Minerals also profoundly affect different parts of the immune system. Zinc is perhaps the most vital immune system mineral. Without enough zinc in our bodies, many of the lymph system tissues actually shrink, including the thymus, where crucial T cells develop, and the lymph nodes where the immune soldiers are stored. Other minerals are also important. Insufficient selenium reduces antibodies in test animals, and too much copper, cadmium, or lead can actually weaken T cells, so they don't fight invaders efficiently. Amino acids are also crucial to your immune health. Amino acids are the building blocks of your body. You get them from the protein you eat, which is made of combinations of different amino acids. Your body breaks protein down into its amino acid building blocks, then uses those blocks in various combinations to make your hair, fingernails, cells, tissues, and chemicals. Tryptophan, phenylalanine, lysine, and methionine are amino acids necessary to the production of antibody. And because amino acids are building blocks for all of the body's cells, they clearly affect how many T cells we will have available to fight off invading germs and cancer. Dr. Berger prescribes a maintenance phase of the immune power diet plan to keep you at a high peak of immune health and performance by building good immune habits into your life. The key is practicality and flexibility. After all, no diet, no matter how healthy, is useful if you can't stay on it. The maintenance phase works because it is so adaptable. There are no hard and fast rules. Your goal is moderation. In many cases of food intolerance, you can start eating your danger foods again if you do so no more than once every four days. This way, the body avoids the negative responses it otherwise would suffer because the limited frequency gives the body the chance to absorb these foods. Here are some useful principles to keep in mind as you stay on the maintenance diet. One, remember to eat a high amount of fiber in your diet. Fiber works to keep you healthy and to fill you up. Whole grain breads, crackers, and cereals are high in fiber, as are raw and cooked fruits and vegetables. Two, emphasize complex carbohydrates in your diet. Foods like pasta, rice, and other grains, as well as starchy vegetables like potatoes and other root vegetables. They are ideal sources of time-release energy that your body can use most efficiently. Three, keep the amount of fat in your diet to an absolute minimum. One good way to do this is to reduce the amount of meat in your diet and use non-stick pans with a minimum amount of oil for cooking. Four, distribute your food throughout the day, eating three small meals and two snacks. Five, remove all visible fat from foods before cooking. Peel the skin off fish and poultry before cooking. Six, if you eat fish, reduce your intake of the fatty fishes, tuna in oil, sardines in oil, rainbow trout, and whitefish. Seven, increase the amount of grains, beans, peas, and other legumes in your diet. They are a rich and filling source of protein. Eight, avoid fried foods. Nine, reduce the fatty plant foods in your diet. These include avocados and peanuts, and many nuts, such as almonds, cashews, and Brazil nuts. 10. Limit sweets. Cakes, cookies, pies, muffins, and other baked goods, as well as candy and ice cream. In addition to sugar, these often contain a large amount of fat. The immune power diet recipes call for common, easily available foods that, for the most part, can be purchased at your local grocery store. Here are some tips to make shopping easier. Your nearest health food store is a very good place to shop. 
There you should be able to find a large selection of grains, broths without MSG or yeast, yeast-free bread, dairy-free margarine, and products sweetened with honey or pure maple syrup. Specialty food stores usually carry a selection of oils, pastas, spices, and other ingredients that you may want to use in your recipes. They are often a good place to buy that special something that will give your diet originality. Keep your menu fresh and seasonal. Avoid frozen, canned, processed, or bottled products whenever possible. This allows you to buy foods that not only taste good, but still retain their nutritional value. Buy in small quantities. If you must buy in larger quantities, divide the food into single serving portions, wrap it well, and freeze it. Thaw overnight in your refrigerator before preparation. Remember that when you buy raw fish, meat, or poultry, the raw weight will always be greater than cooked weight. So always buy a little extra because you lose a substantial portion of these foods when they are trimmed or boned. This also holds true for grains and cereals. When a diet or recipe specifies a certain amount of food, it means the cooked, not raw, amount. <laughs> to make immune power work for you, and to enjoy the sweeping improvements in health and weight loss that come with it, Dr. Berger's Immune Power Diet has to work in your life the way you want to live it. We introduced you to the essential features of the Immune Power Diet, how it works, and how you can begin to achieve better immune health through this unique revolutionary plan. We presented the three steps to fine-tuning your immune system, correcting the immune imbalance, recognizing and understanding the immune fat connection, and rebuilding your immune system. Dr. Berger's health plan is straightforward and easy to follow, and his patients are quite frequently astounded at having lost 10 to 15 pounds in three weeks. The next step is yours. After you've experienced the dramatic weight loss the Immune Power Diet can bring, you will further benefit by following our suggestions for building and maintaining your immune health. You've been listening to a special audio presentation of the best-selling book, Dr. Berger's Immune Power Diet by Stuart Berger, MD. It was adapted by Don Horn, produced and directed by Jane Schoenberger, and read by Fred Melamed for Warner Audio Publishing Executive Producers. We invite you to send us your comments on this program, and we'd like to send you the latest free edition of our cassette catalog please write to us at the address that you'll find on the label of this cassette.